How do you deploy your Text.js application on EC2 instance? Manually running a git pull on EC2 server? That might work if you have a couple of developers. But what if you have many developers in a team? Now, the git pull is slow, messy, and error prone. The solution is Jenkins CI CD pipeline, and in this tutorial, I will show you exactly how to do it step by step. Hello there, my name is Farrokh, and welcome back to my channel. So, without further ado, let's understand what we will cover in this video. Creating and understanding Jenkins pipeline, setting up bash script on EC2, testing Jenkins pipeline. Here is the architecture diagram for our tutorial. So, A, we have developer and we have Jenkins server. It is actually in the same network. And what it does represent? Developer is doing their coding and then after that, they are pushing their code to the repository. And as soon as it is going to the repository, our Jenkins server is using the whole SCM. It's actually downloading the code onto Jenkins server, compiles it, and connect to the remote machine, which is EC2 server, and deploy the code over there. So this whole process is automated. Once the developer has pushed the code to the repository, hit pull, onto this remote machine and deploying it manually. It goes fine once we have a couple of developers, but what if we have so many developers like this, too many developers and all are pushing together. Then how many times we have to do the git pull onto a remote machine? So this problem is handled by Jenkins. So all the developers can push the code to the repository simultaneously and our Jenkins server will be pulling their code one by one here or simultaneously and deploy to the remote machine, remote EC2 instance one by one. So here is our Jenkins platform of Jenkins server. So let's log into the Jenkins by putting the username and password. Just sign in and here is a main console of our Jenkins server that I have installed on my system here. But if you would like to learn how to configure, you can click on a card on the upper right corner here. So here we have to click on new item and select the pipeline and put the pipeline name. It could be any name. I'm just selecting weather at deployment. You could use any name, but you have to select pipeline and then click OK. So here we are. The pipeline script has been selected and I need to copy the script over here. But what script? I have already copied into the repository. So we have to go to the repository. So we have to go to the Jenkins pipeline and go to the script. And this and copy the whole script and put it here. So here I have copied each and everything and let's start understanding it what this script does it simply connect to the remote machine and execute a bash script onto the machine so first modify the ip address i've just put the dummy ip address over there here in the pipeline just replace it here is the correct ip address of the server that i have used what does the pipeline do? It first check out to the repository. It's a public repo. So I don't have to use any credential to it. And then connect to the SSH into the remote server and go to Word HTML next JS folder and run a script.sh to deploy the full application over there. But here focus on SSH agent, which is Jenkins dead server. For that, go to dashboard and then manage Jenkins. And here, you have to go to credentials. Here it is Jenkins server, click on systems, and then click on it. And here is the update button. So here is the ID. You can read the description. The same description I have just put over there, 
and username is Ubuntu because my remote server name is Ubuntu. And then he concealed for confidentiality. Enter directly the key, which is the private key we need to put over here. So for this, let me create a new key pair SS using SSH keygen. So first, let's create a directory separately for it. Now SSH keygen and enter and it is asking the path just put the exact path where exactly i am which is home for weather app dot keys just put the key name as well and hit the enter i'm not going to put any passphrase and that's it so just check i have created id underscore weather and id underscore weather dot pub dot pub is a public key and ID underscore weather is a private key. Just verify it. What's inside? So it has all this description, which is the private key. And I need this key. So I need to get ID underscore weather and then copy the whole content. And then I need to paste it here. Replace. Just need to paste it here. As I have not used any passphrase, so I'm not going to put the passphrase here. Just save it. If you are enjoying this content and find it useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's a small click for you, but makes a big difference for me. Thank you. Now back to the pipeline. Configure. Now we have learned that SSH agent Jenkins Dead Server as it is going to connect to the remote machine. So we just need to connect to the remote machine. Just copy the IP. It is the same machine the Jenkins server is going to connect and deploy our app next year's app. So we need to go here and add the public key as we have already copied the Private key to the Jenkins server, public key we need to add to the destination server, which is our next year server. That is EC2, AWS EC2. So we need to go to the home Ubuntu SSH authorized key. This is the file. And here we have used weather, ID underscore weather we have already used. Now we just need to see the content, copy the content, id underscore weather dot pub and copy it to the authorized key to the destination server. That's it. Save it. Control X. Yes. Now verify. Let's verify that. So I'm putting get the whole path at the bottom here. The key I have just added. So, key has been added onto this machine, which is our EC2 server. So, now my pipeline is ready. Now, I'm able to connect to the remote machine successfully. And then I just need to go to the bar www.html next year. So, let's verify that do I have this path available. Yes, this path is available. So what's inside? It is empty. So that means we need to create a script.sh onto the remote machine. So let's create it. Just copy the name. Go back to the server. And hit enter. Now it is empty. I just need to copy the content from the same repo. Where from where I have copied the Jenkins pipeline, here is the script.sh. So you can reutilize it as per your need. So this is here. Let's start understanding. So, first two lines it is just saying if pipeline, if this script fails, not the pipeline, then it comes out directly, not do anything. And then after that, I have just used the variable git repo and I have just put the complete repository path over there. And then I have set the work DIR next is the weather app. And it is just saying if work DIR directory exists, I'm going to remove it. 
that is for a reason that whenever I'm just cloning the repository automatically creates a folder. So the old code, I'm just going to remove it with the new one. So that is why on every deployment, it is going to remove it. And then it has cp.env.local to work here. So let's verify that. Do we have env.local here? No, it has only script.sh. But where exactly that env.local exists? It should be on my local PC where I have working on this app. Or you may call it onto a developer's machine. The developer is working, so they should have the env.local credential over there. Yes, I do have env.local on my machine, on my local machine. So let's get it. This is the front end. CP env.local to work dir. So work dir is next JS weather app. So here I just need to create the env.local. So again, I nano that env and just need to copy this, this line onto it. So env.local is also been covered. So here, if I come down, cp env.local to work dir, and then in the next step, I just cd, I just go inside the work dir, and then do the node.js using nvm. But before that, I forget one thing over here. And that thing is, when I go inside the directory, I need to check out to a branch, which is main branch. By default, the default branch is main, so it's automatically to the main, but it's a good practice to put the branch name as well. And then after that, I need to install npm install, and then I need to install pm2 over there. So if pm2 is not exist, it's going to install pm2. And then npm run build. And then here is the logic. If pm2 weather app is exist, I'm just using the describe to check that either it is exist or not. If it is exist, it's just a code that process weather dash app already exists. And then pm2 restart weather app. So whatever the code I have just compiled, it just restart the weather app and it's been deployed over there. But if it is the first time, then it goes to the else block and then starting weather app with PM2. So PM2 will start npm dash dash name weather app dash dash start. So this is how this script works. So this is the first time it has not been running over there anything. PM2 is empty. So whenever it has been pushed, it's going to be installed. Now we need to make this script executable. So this is the command chmod plus x script.sh. Now script.sh is being executable. So now our Jenkins pipeline is fully ready to deploy the code. So that's about it. Just save this. And this time, I'm going to build it manually, just clicking on this button. While it should be automated, then we will be covering our next section of the shortly. So here I come to the description, and it is saying fail to add the host to the list. Just ignore it, nothing to worry about. And it is saying your branch is up to date, which is original main, and it is npm next build. It is building the application and it take a little while to compile it and deploy onto the server. Let's open it. Let's check PM2 list. It does not have anything. So it goes to the else block. But here it is saying it has been just started. So let's verify again. PM2 list. Now it is 
online. So that means our application should be deployed successfully. So just verify it, copy the IP, put it here and try to browse it. Yes, definitely I'm able to access it. Now on this we have covered that we have just created a pipeline, we have run it manually. But it has to run automatically. We don't need to click here on build now button. So we need to configure it. Just configure it. Then here is all SCM. Just check it. And onto the schedule, it is running as per the minute, hour, date of month, month, date of week. So I just need to run this on every minute. So it is scanning my repository every minute. And whenever there is a change, the pipeline runs and deploy it onto my destination server, which is our AWS server. So that's it. Now I just need to edit my code and then push it to trigger the pipeline automatically. So let's verify that. Just go to pages. I'm just doing it to change the code. So here in my example, I just go to index.tsx. The default city that we have seen is Dubai. We are going to change it to Karachi. That's it. Save it. And now I just need to push my code to a repository. So get a status. It is saying yes. One modified file inside pages in text.tsx. So get add dot. And then get commit minus m. Modify the default city. I'm just putting this commit over here. And now I'm just going to push it to my repository, which is main, main repository. So now the code has been pushed and anytime soon it is going to be started. Yeah, it's been triggered and it, you can see a one commit. Go inside it and go to the console output. And here you can see it is just building your application, our application and deploying on to the server. So once it's been deployed, the default city, whenever we browse our application, it should be Karachi. So it's been successful. Go here, just browse it. Yes, my pipeline has been successful. So this is how a Jenkins is going to deploy your replication automatically. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you on your DevOps journey. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. And remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.